XLOOKUP, Pivot Tables, Power Query, Dynamic Arrays, Power Pivot, VBA, Class Modules. We all love learning new tools in Excel. But the truth is that none of these matter if you can't communicate with people. Yes, here at Target, we know spreadsheets are for humans. So your technical ability is always constrained by your ability to talk to people about spreadsheets. That's why this kind of real world development video is so important. To be honest, I know it's not going to get many views. I know I could get more views by doing a tutorial about XLOOKUP or Power Query, whatever it might be. But then I'll be doing you a disservice. That's because I know the main thing is to be able to talk to people about spreadsheets. Can we save the NHS with Excel VBA? Let's get into it. Hello everybody, welcome to this video. Something brand new for the channel here. I've got my good friend and NHS doctor, Alan. Yeah. Yeah, we're here. We're here. <laughs> and it's quite a funny situation for us because we're because we're actually friends, aren't we? And play a bit of cricket together and stuff don't we we have known each other for a long time <laughs> and um funny the now of an excel problem but i had an excel problem a few years ago remember if you remember it's funny a few years ago you just bought me lots of food yeah and i did your excel for you i sat there and you just did excel yeah i would watch youtube and then once you would eat and do excel exactly, exactly. and uh, today you came around with loads of food yeah so i thought alan wants some excel doing <laughs> What else could it be? <laughs> so here we are. And so you're a doctor, right? I am. Yeah, okay. it's been um, been a bit busy the last few weeks, a few months. Yep. But it's uh, I think it's hopefully getting better now. Hopefully Good stuff. Better. We've, we've troop, got all the troops together, soldiered on, and we've done it for, you, for all you out there. Inspirational stuff. Inspirational. So why this Excel idea? You've got to tell me. What are you trying to okay. do? Okay. Yeah. And we so, can go through it all. I can take some notes as well. Yeah. So I have recently um, rotated to another uh, department. Okay. And this this is a, this is quite a new so, department. So you're in a hospital. The context is a hospital. Hospital. Right? Yeah. Let, let's, let's go from the basics. Yeah. Right? I, I work at a hospital. Yeah. Good, good, good. Because I'm a doctor. These people, what they do is they treat pay people. Um, every now and again, and um, so I've recently rotated to a new department. It's like a new um, department, new area. So they haven't been going for too long, but mm -hmm. still about five, six years. Okay. But they haven't got a real system mm -hmm. of referrals. Okay. Now what this means um, is that they don't have when another team wants or another speciality wants you to look at um, their patient mm -hmm. because they may have a problem regarding your speciality. Mm. For example? And for example, somebody not in the same context as mine, but somebody who's a kidney doctor, Yeah, maybe um, their patient may have some sort of problem with their tummy. Yep. And they may want to refer it to the tummy doctor. So you need a specialist from the... You, you need a referral... Would you say, I need a referral from the tummy doctor because so, I need an expert in tummies? Yeah, so they'll pick the phone up and be like, come quick, he's, his tummy's all weird. And yeah. then they'll run along and they'll go there because they've got the referral system in place. In my system, we've got people who've got broken bones and they um, are generally elderly, the older yes. person. And my department is those who actually care for the elderly and the older people and therefore so they are experts in dealing with patients from there yeah so the orthopedic surgeons don't necessarily have um the right uh, knowledge regarding these patients so they want to refer to us and sometimes they go a little bit further and they try and refer a bit too much because all they care okay. about is the surgeon. so you're saying you're being called in to another area i am being called into another area okay. and there is no official referral system for that Okay, okay. Okay, so, and, uh, okay, so there's no official referring system. So it sounds like there's some problems. So t t tell us about the issues. The issues are, one, there is no official person to go to. They they come to me and just say, oh, I've got somebody to, you know, this patient, X, Y, Z over here. So somebody from another, another area. Another area. You. So luckily, or unfortunately for us, we are on the same ward as those people. Okay. 
usually the, you're on a place and really far away and they have to pick up a phone to call you. Okay. But these guys are seeing us every day. So there's no official person to go to. So they come to me or they come to our colleagues or generally the people who are easy to speak to, maybe not the bosses. Because um, you're, you're, you're a junior doctor, yeah? I'm a junior doctor. Yeah, at the so, moment. So yep. people um, just come to me and say, deal with this. Let's go, go to the fresh meat. <laughs> go to the fresh meat. And um, they don't want to go to the boss because the boss will probably tell them to go away. I can't. Bit. Maybe not those, those words. But yeah, they say go away. And um, so they come to us and there's no official person to contact. And it becomes difficult because then relaying the information from one person, perhaps some, then perhaps it may come from another person before that gets referred to me. So information is lost. Information sometimes isn't necessary. Um, or we, we aren't, it's not necessary for us to go and see this patient. Mm-hmm. So we we sometimes struggle and then I go back to them and say, you know, why it wasn't, why, why our boss isn't going to look at them, look at the patient. And they say, oh, but you missed out this part. So it's, it's really lost in translation, Chinese whispers and information gets missed out. So exactly, waste of time. Okay. And it's waste of time for them and sometimes it's waste of time for us. And in, if there was some system, also a system where you can actually go back and maybe look at mm. and say, okay, this was the problem initially. Has yep. that problem been solved? Yeah. And it'd be nice to actually go tick or, or go yeah. and see the archived, you know, referrals yeah and we can actually see with what was who did we see yesterday and okay maybe even expand it to that so, so with this uh yeah you know, with this referral system it would be for would it be like your personal thing or would it be for a ward or for a no, particular uh, area I, or? i'm hoping it would be for um the ward um or the, the the whole department yeah it can be something that anybody can use um Anyone within the orthopedic team, which is the bone bone surgeons, um, and they can see come and they can log on to the computer and it's there already. Yeah. So talk to the IT department there and they can just type it in simply, quickly, and we can review it quickly and, and easily. So you might want to say, okay, what referrals are outstanding or what referrals did we do yesterday? Perfect. What that happens? Will, that is exactly what I'm thinking. So if we can, if you can see it yesterday, although they were, that won't be the focus... But if the next day you come in, maybe you have a cut-off time. That this this is the time where people get have to get seen, and then you can um, look at the referrals for that day. And once it's seen and completed, ticked off, or advice been put in, or however I'm thinking of doing it, um, it can be archived, and we can maybe go back to it. But most likely, just at least it's there that we can see. So it's, yeah. so you'd have the system, and you'd um you'll get a referral mm. up. And you'll say, okay, Alam, this was your referral. Mm. Uh, what happened to it? What Is happened? it closed? What's the status of it? That kind of thing? That kind of thing. And something something somebody else can go back to. So if it is archived, they can go back to it. You know, the person who referred. Yep. And they can come and go and see it and say, that's my advice there. Good. Yeah, because there's like an evidence trail. Tra- like tra- tra- yeah. And that's important because often, as I mentioned, all the problems, often they believe when, when the bosses say, oh, we're not going to see this patient, they believe that's actually advice. And they will say... Can you document that? But this mm. way, there's no hiding from the fact if we aren't going to see a patient, um, you know, it's there. This there's, there's no advice. There's nothing. They can't come to me and say document, which is a bit unsafe for patients because I haven't seen reviewed a patient. And so, and is there an issue with you being your people in your department yourself being asked to do? referrals that are appropriate that that seems to be the starting point that is, that is right? exactly it so whether whether they're appropriate or whether they're not appropriate or whether they need a particular um review or just advice i mean there's so many different things but particularly the fact that is it appropriate or not appropriate yeah you know that that's so, because sometimes it's not sometimes they can deal with it themselves but they you may think it's easier so if there can be a way of trying to show this but you know the person who's referred it we're not actually going to see this patient in a nice yeah. way. And to be able to document that as well. So like say, you know, we consider this referral mm. and we elected not to. Not you know? to. Yeah. So, they know. so you're not just being lazy. You've, you can give a reason. Exactly. Yeah. You know, we're yeah. not. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to literally say a reason. Yeah. But if it's, they should know that this is not appropriate. It's been reviewed by somebody very senior. They've all, all these things should be reviewed by somebody senior. So they will know that <clears throat> this is not something that I need to um, refer to us. I suppose if, people in other departments know that you've got a great referral system 
maybe they'll be like, mm, maybe we won't bother because they've got a good system. That's what I'm thinking. So if they bought, if there is a system in place, they won't try and refer everything. They may think, you know, this is not worthy, they, and it may filter the amount of referrals that we get. I mean, that's not necessarily the the main um, reason for doing this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it? No, but no one wants their time wasted, do they? No one because, wants the time wasted. No, I don't like getting my time wasted. But, I'm, I'm, is that something? Are you trying to say something, Chris? I don't. Yeah. You're, you're always on time, though. Oh, yes. I mean, we've never argued about that before, <laughs> ever. But no, no, but it's, no, but it's difficult for you, isn't it? Because you're in a hospital. Mm. You're meant to be caring for other people, mm. you know. And they're basically saying, "Can you just come and help it, out?" And it's, yeah, it's very difficult. If, exactly if you that. reject it, then they can be like, "Well, you know, yeah, come you, on, why come and help?" It? This is supposed to be your field, but really, yeah. all doctors should have basic skills. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, all doctors should be able to, to deal with a lot of stuff because it's just basic. Yeah. yeah. And Brilliant. from from what I can see, you're right in there. Die spot on. Yeah, spot. Okay, cool. I'm going to save the file while I do that because uh, mm -hmm. I don't want everyone to see how badly organised my file system is. Oh. I'm going to get. Yeah. <laughs> you should delete those. I'm going to. <laughs> what are we going to call this project? Referral project. Refer. That's exactly what it is. Can we? Can we call? Oh yeah, yeah. Let's call yeah it. Do you want to call it? No, we call it. Something we can call else it something like. else afterwards. Yeah. Also, yeah, maybe. Referral project for okay, now. I'm getting ahead of yeah. myself. Ahead of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Right. Referral project is saved. It's exciting. Hello, Sip. So, the way I envisage this working, I, th I think we'd have a kind of front sheet with, with what I'd call a form. A form on. So, so you know, when you're on the internet, like mm. you fill out a form, mm. contact form, mm. fill out your address. Mm -hmm. So, it's, so it, it would look a bit like that. Mm -hmm. And so each of the fields, each of the boxes contains a piece of information that's going to help you understand the nature that's, of the referral. Yeah, that's how I was um, looking at it. I mean, a few days back, I did say... <laughs> it's almost as if we did... <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, how, did how did you know? Um, yeah, we did. I did just turn up here and he had a camera on and he decided to... Yeah, he, you were just walking past, <laughs> were you? Past. I was There's like, you look at Rexa. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know each other. Um, but yeah, that is how I envisage it. I did send it. Did send a picture to Chris. So if you, mm. um, if you, no, there's, to there's something in that though. Certainly, mm. um, when you're starting a project um, with my customers, they work in different ways. You know, mm. some people scribble it out on a piece mm. of paper. Some people do it in Excel. Mm. Some people record it to a, a voice yeah. message. Yeah. Some people do a screen yeah. recording. So yeah, I think that really helped. Um, but it's still, it it's it's um, still difficult to see it. But that's why I've got the expert. Yes. Yeah, well, we can get started now. So we're just going to go through all of the information that you would like. And mm. yeah, to begin with, we can just go through it all. Then we can look at categorizing it yeah. and prioritizing it. Yeah. Yeah. If you've watched to the end of this video, I know you get it. I know you understand what Excel VBA development is really about. I would love to have you in our Members Monday Excel VBA learning community. You get a weekly live stream with me, but much more than that, you get to interact with other like-minded individuals just like you, get support for your Excel VBA learning, discuss what you're trying to do in Excel. It's a totally unique proposition on the internet, Excel VBA learning community. I'd love to see you there. Click join below this video for more.